Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be testing the difference between a Mitsutoyo bore gauge and your generic auto, um, uh, we're going to say AutoZone, uh, Amazon, as I have both. Um, I've built engines, many engines, and have always used plastic gauge. And I know that's not the most accurate, but it's done me well for quite a long time. Um, I've started using the correct tools to build engines. Um, and I got this new gauge in and wanted to kind of put it up against the Amazon one as one's 60, 70 bucks, the other one's 350, 400 bucks. So is there a difference, is there not? We'll find out, check it out. Okay, so here's our two bore gauges. Left is the uh, Mitsutoyo and right. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name, but I got it from Amazon and that's the part number. Pretty much what you get with it. And it's that one right there on the right side. The Mitsutoyo, let's see if there's a part number on it. This is the case for it. And I'm positive I can get you the, the part number so we can make, there we go. Apples to apples, you know, comparisons. And this is the set of rods that's going in my new engine that I'm starting to build. So I have the rods, I have the pistons, I have the crank. Um, I have other blocks, but I don't have my block. So I've ordered a Brodix aluminum block, but uh, it's in the mail. So I figured, hey, at least I could get some of this stuff done and this is what we're gonna do. So anyways, let's get to measuring and see what the difference of the two gauges is. Alrighty, so I just finished, went back through, even double checked multiple times, um, making sure that you know, I could get it as accurate as I could. And this side here is the Amazon gauge. And this side here is the Mitsutoyo gauge. Now, I have aluminum rods. So there's a pin in the bottom cap of the rod, as you can see right there, which makes trying, you know, Normally you like try to get to the middle and measure and you know measure from each side. I can't do the middle. And if you turn the actual gauge, you know, instead of it being exactly like this, if you turn it this way or this way, it's going to read a bigger number because this is not exactly round. So it's wider this way than it is this way. And just in case you guys don't believe me, we are measuring the vertical clearance. We're getting down to about a three and a half thousandths. Okay. If I change this and we go, I won't even go totally horizontal. I'll just go about right there. Okay. Come up here. Instead of three and a half thousandths, getting about five and if you want more we can go totally vertical horizontal and it's at it's all the way you know before it was going down to five now we're all the way up there two one and some change so it's at eight and a half thousandths 
So, yeah, I know. When I learned that, I was surprised too. So what I end up doing is I'll measure, you know, from the, you know, from the pin, try to be in the middle of this pin to the outside, and then I flip the rod over and I do the exact same. And then I try to average, you know, what that ends up being. And after going back through, they're pretty much dead on. So I can't say anything bad about the little $60 Amazon gauge. Um, as you can see on the gauges though, it is, it's not as precise, you know, when you're, when you're making, you know, small, small movements, um, the mids, and I'm sure you could just buy a different gauge and that would fix that. But the, the Mitsutoyo one lets you read, you know, down, down to a, 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 a smaller number. So it is. That part of it's nice. Now, is it worth, you know, the three hundred dollar extra price tag? That's you know, to be determined. But using it right now, I have no complaints. Um, like I said, it is easier to read, and uh, seems like it's that you can be a little less time consuming. But other than that. That was the little video I wanted to do and figured I'd bring y'all along as we're doing everything I can to get, you know, things done before the block gets here. So anyways, on that note, you guys have a good one and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.